Welcome to Americana. This is all about trivia and quizzes, stuff that's all about America, pictures. Uh, today, um, we're headed into our Thanksgiving week, and uh, this is some fun facts and uh, just trivia about Thanksgiving, um, a lot of Bible verses also. So let's get underway, see how you do. Um, there's going to be some opportunity of some humor and uh, just good stuff. So welcome. I thought this was very clever when I found it, that they took the word thanks and they made an acrostic down within the Bible verses. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Enter here or enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. And now we thank you, our God, and praise your glorious name. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praises to our God. All right, here's your first question, and there's a few of them about the pilgrims. What year was the celebration that is most commonly considered to be the first Thanksgiving? So if you said 1620, that's when they landed, but they did it the year after in 1621. How long did the first Thanksgiving celebration last? Three days. And it was held in September because on a November date, every, everything was frozen. Um, every, uh, there were no crops in the fields. So that got the September celebration did not hold, um, obviously, because we celebrated here in America in November. About how many attended? And uh, I shared this with my, uh, in our adult uh, fellowship that we had last night, and they were answering from the floor. And they said, when I read this about how many attended, I heard all of them. And, uh, well, all of them ended up there. There were 50 pilgrims and around, around 90 Indians who attended the three-day feast. A lot smaller than thought. When the pilgrims left England for freedom of religion, where did they go? Where was their first stop? And if you said Holland, you would be correct. Uh, they actually wanted to go there and stop there. They were escaping persecution they fled to Leiden, uh, but they didn't fit in. Or did they find work? They wouldn't let them into the workforce. They were also worried about their children being influ influenced by the culture in which they were living. So they got financial backing, and they made their journey and ended up here in what is now America. William Shakespeare said this, O oh Lord, that lends me life. Lend me a heart replete with thanksgiving. That's a lot of good thinking right there. The United States has three tiny towns named after the turkey. Each one has a population of under 500. Can you name one? And of course, you can always freeze uh, this program at any point while you're thinking. Here they are, Turkey, North Carolina, Turkey, Texas, and Turkey Creek, Louisiana. And here is Turkey, Texas. Uh, here is what is very interesting here. The first thing I did after I read it was the cows, the, the cattle being driven by the cowboys up above across the top. And my thought was maybe they should have used turkeys instead. I made gardens and orchards, and I planted them in, in them with all kinds of fruits. Ecclesiastes 2.5. Under which president did Thanksgiving become an annual holiday? It was Abraham Lincoln. He made a proclamation for a day of Thanksgiving, of praise and prayer. That's what Thanksgiving was with the pilgrims. And that is what Thanksgiving is intended to be today. Now, obviously, probably for the 99% of America, take out prayer and praise 
And if there's any kind of saying grace or they're saying, well, I'm thankful for football with the family today, I think we've missed the whole thing. Which president was the first to grant a presidential pardon to a turkey? It was Ronald Reagan. Whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. What are turkey chicks called? They are called pults or turkeylings. Pults or turkeylings. So, what do you call a young turkey scare? A pullet surprise. Ha, huh, let that sink in a little bit. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. His love endures forever. A very familiar Christmas carol was written for Thanksgiving. Do you know what it is? It's Jingle Bells. And uh, James Lord Pierpont originally wrote Jingle Bells so it could be performed by his father's Sunday school class on Thanksgiving. And if you look and think through the lyrics, Christmas is never mentioned at all. So I have no idea who adopted it and put it into uh, Christmas but I can understand about jingle bells on Santa's sleigh. And we hang jingle bells as decorations. What is that called, the red thing on the turkey? Uh, it's called a snood. We sometimes call it a gobbler, but it's a snood. Lawrence Welk said this, Over and over I marvel at the blessings of my life. Each year has grown better than the last. What did God give Noah when he gave thanks after the flood. Uh, the rainbow in the sky. The psalmist wrote in Psalms 136, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is blank. His love endures forever. What goes in there? Good does. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are filled with joy. Psalm 126.3 How did Paul tell the church in Philippi to pray in Philippians 4.6? Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, is the correct answer. Present your requests to God. Let us come before him with thanksgiving. Macy's has been holding its annual Thanksgiving Day Parade since 1924. In addition to floats with nursery rhyme characters like Mother Goose and Little Miss Muffet, the inaugural parade also included real bears, monkeys, elephants, and other animals that the Central Park Zoo loaned them. But by 19, 1927, only three years later, the animals were replaced with giant balloon characters because they scared the children, the growls and the noises that the animals would make, and scared them so the kids weren't coming. And so this is what they replaced them with. And as I told my audience last night, seeing that thing come between two buildings, come peeking through and around down Main Street there, that that would scare anybody. That thing looks like it's a it's a bomb in the making. But of course things have gotten better. Do you see the clowns down low? Oh give thanks unto the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. And here it is in First Chronicles, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, his love endures forever. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. And so I want to say thank you. We'll begin, be back again next year with more Thanksgiving trivia. It'll be number two. And if you're viewing this around Thanksgiving, God bless you. Give thanks. Give praise. Give prayer to the Lord. Uh, we have it all because he's given us all.